Okay, this week on the final reel, I want to talk a little bit about the Oscars making the big change this week. We're going from five films to be nominated for Best Picture to ten. Yes, to ten. For those of you who haven't heard the news, that's a decision that was just recently passed by the Academy last week. Now, the whole controversy, they say, is because films like The Dark Knight and Tropic Thunder were not nominated for Best Picture. Now, here's where my opinion kind of goes on this whole situation. They have already have a Best Animated Feature award. Best Picture, in my opinion, for more or less over the years, has been Best Drama. Now you got Best Comedy, maybe. Best Action Film. Why not separate the categories? It might be the Best Picture only nominates dramas and maybe the occasional clever comedy here and there, but it does nothing else outside of that. What I don't really, what I don't get about this whole thing is that, you know, the Academy for years has not succumbed to public pressure. Now they're finally doing it, and I think it's a decision that really is kind of questionable. I'm not saying it's bad necessarily, but what what harm would it do to really separate it in terms of genre? I mean, isn't the Oscars trying to attra attract a whole new young audience? Wouldn't that help? Best comedy, best action picture, best horror movie. Okay, maybe I'm taking a little too far. But the fact of the matter is, if, if separating the genres I would, would probably create for a more interesting show. Now, granted, however, here's the other side of it, is that you want to stay loyal also to the old format. Now, again, I'm new school, but I'm old school every bit as well. I want the Oscars to have a bit of the old format, too. I believe if you can include all genres of film in the 10 best, fine by me. But I'm also anticipating the fact that we might see just five more dramas in addition to the ones that they nominate. Nothing against some of the dramas they nominate, but some of them just have no place there whatsoever. Anyway, that's it for this week's edition of Bill Chase and the Movies. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's going to be back on the webcam again, like I said. Next week, I'll be back with more reviews, including the highly anticipated Public Enemy starring the great Johnny Depp and Christian Bale. Also, Ice Age 3, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, the latest movie in that franchise. Tetro, the latest film by Francis Ford Coppola. Also, Moon, starring Sam Rockwell. And Whatever Works, a new film directed by the great Woody Allen, starring Curb Your Enthusiasm and Seinfeld creator Larry David. That's it for this week's edition of Bill Chasing the Movies. Tune in next week. And until next week, I will be at the movies. Goodbye, everybody.